What's up guys, George Payne here today. Today I've got a pod test for you. This one comes to me from T. Mutter. This is the Carolina Reaper. Really gorgeous pot, let me show you. Really awesome looking, very scary. And uh, I wanted to do this one as kind of a special video. My grandfather died of cancer about six years ago. He uh, died of liver cancer. He had fought cancer for about 25 years and uh, he finally lost his battle. Uh, that's one of the ideas I got for Harvested Heat is I live the personal experience. You know, I had the family members die of cancer. My wife has MS and those kind of things really touch me. And I know there's a lot of people in the world that have lost a lot of their family members and things. And, and uh, I really feel for those people and, you know, it's really a hard thing. So today I wanted to do a special pod. This is a special pod to me. This is the Carolina Reaper, the hottest pepper in the world. At the moment, I know it's not Guinness Book of World Record oriented yet, but it is. And uh, I was talking to Todd, the guy who sent it to me, Todd Warsh, T Motor, really awesome friend of mine, and I really appreciated Todd. And he said that this one is really going to put the hurting on me. Um, well, you know, special video for a memorial of a special person, and uh, I couldn't select a better pod. Ed Curry did a fantastic job cultivating this and creating this monster. Uh, really scary looking, just gnarly bumpiness, really scary tail. And uh, check out Ed Curry and check out Todd Warsh. I'm going to put the links in their description for their businesses and uh, for for uh, Todd's personal page, his YouTube page. He eats a lot of scary pods. But uh, Ed Curry, been talking to him. He's a really nice, awesome guy, really genuine. And he also is uh, in the fight for cancer research as well. So he's a really awesome guy. Check him out. Um, and cut this open. I'm going to tell you how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Carolina Reaper. Wow, lots of oil. Sorry for the lighting. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm trying. You know, it's a little sunny out here. It's uh, really an oily pod. Um, wow, scary looking inside. Let me finish cutting it open. I'll show it to you. Jeez Louise. Yeah, it's a scary looking one. Um, the knife down right there but uh show it to you I'm not going to remove any seeds today but there it is look at the placenta I'm not going to do anything with it I'm going to throw this in my mouth and see how long I can last chewing it and uh looks pretty lots of oil you can see the capsaicin oil just sitting on my knife you can see the capsaicin oil just collected on the sides of it um show you I just noticed that with the knife right there but uh how much oil is on the side of that pepper look at that so much oil but uh here we go let's tell you how it tastes and smells I'm gonna do the smell test up got oil all over my hand Jeez Louise. smells kind of sweet smells very sweet very fruity it's got a floral smell to it. Hmm. It smells very, very hot though. It really does. It's. I'm nervous about this one. And uh, here we go. Where to begin? Where to begin? Whew, smoking hot. Oh, just killing my tongue right now. It's hot out here too, but it's hotter in my mouth. It feels like a nuke it just went off in my mouth. Um, throat is lighting up like fire right at the moment. Oil is insane. Um, hard to talk. Uh, bear with me. 
it's starting to build it hot boy that's that's a hot spot I've done my lips feel like they're being shredded off by like the tree shredder you know my tongue feels like I just stuck it in like an electrical socket I've never done that before but if I could imagine it it would be that the flavor was was overwhelmingly sweet though surprisingly um, it smelled floral I didn't really get a floral note at all from it I didn't get floral I got sweetness I got no bitterness I got just an amazing awesome flavor I give the heat like a 12 on the 10th scale it hurts so bad I can actually feel the saliva in my stomach from swallowing the heat and the oil my lips are on fire the top of my tongue the sides of my mouth the roof of my mouth just evenly equally on fire I'm starting to sweat and it's not from being outside it's from the pepper my sinuses are starting to go off as I breathe out it's just insanely hot on the tip of my tongue it feels so bad this pepper is so freaking hot man Ed you did an awesome job creating such a beast my mouth feels swollen my endorphins are starting to kick in but uh really an awesome pod really great flavor I'm really stoked that I got to try this thanks Todd for sending it check Todd's channel out he's a really awesome guy a really good friend of mine and he grew and sent me two of these um, I don't know if I'm gonna eat the other one I'll probably try to give it to somebody at work or something but this is hot man if you never had the Reaper, this is probably going to be the hottest pepper you will try. I'm sure there's hotter stuff out there. You know, I saw the chocolate bootla being done by Ted and Todd, and they said that one was hotter than this. And I don't know if I want to do anything hotter than this. This is insane, bro. But uh, this video, I mainly wanted to give you guys some basics on really why I started Harvested Heat. Like I said, I've, I've had cancer deaths in my family, and I've seen people I love suffer and die from it, and it's not pretty. It's the most horrible thing that I, I've ever seen in my life. I, I watched my grandpa die, and um, it really touches me, you know. I'm, I'm trying not to cry right now. I'm sorry because I get kind of emotional about things like this. But I see my wife. She has MS, and I see the struggles she goes through as well. And I really want to get involved with the research aspect of this stuff, you know. That's why I started it. That's what drives me. That's what's going to continue to drive me. I might not be big at the moment. Not very many people know about me. But I really have faith in God that God is really going to go with this program. And I really feel like he's put me on a mission for this program. And I'm really on fire for it. And I'm really passionate about hot peppers. And I'm really passionate about helping others. And that's what drives me. And if you want to get involved with Harvested Heat Outreach, um, check out my website, www.harvestedheatoutreach.com. I'll put a link in the description for that. I'll put, you know, I have a Facebook page, George Payne the Third is my name on Facebook. Um, check me out. Um, message me on YouTube if you want to get involved. I'm going to set up a page where funds go straight to um, cancer and MS research. I'm building that up right now. I'm still building my website up. Um, I'm really working hard on that stuff and I really appreciate you guys supporting me and even supporting my channel and um, I hope you enjoyed the review. My mouth is still on fire. I'm sure it's going to be on fire for a good 30 minutes. It doesn't feel like it's going to let up at all. I think it's finally now just peaking because it is insane it's like somebody put gasoline in my mouth and soaked it and lit it on fire um it's bad the sides of my mouth where i spit it out it's just insanely bad it hurts i'm sorry if the lighting of this video is bad i'm outside first outside video wanted to come out here and show you the beauty out here 
um, because this was a special video and I wanted to make it special so I wanted to change the couch scenery and, and everything and I'm sorry if this goes over really long and I'm talking but I just wanted to let you guys know some things about my program and I wanted to really give a memorial um, video for my grandfather you know he was probably the best man of my life um, I learned a lot from him I miss him dearly I think about him all the time and uh, if you guys have had anybody that's died from cancer I really feel for you um, but uh, that's what I wanted to do this for and I really enjoy the peppers and I enjoy this so I'll see you guys later in the next video thanks for watching sorry if it ran late but um, I appreciate it and God bless you guys